Welcome guys, if you guys want to see how to make a Wagyu filled cheeseburger with homemade cheese sauce, homemade mayonnaise, pulled pork cheeks and homemade bread buns all in one video, stick around guys, I'm going to do it in this video. Coming up! On to our next step guys, we're going to go in with some warm milk, these beautiful bread buns. Behind that, we're going to hit that with some yeast. Ooh. The sugar. And some salt. Let's give it a quick mix. To that, we're going to hit it with some bread flour. Eggs, and some dough conditioner, and this is what commercial bakers use to make them nice, light and fluffy, and I did see this one on Chud's Barbecue, so big shout out to Chud's Barbecue, I'm borrowing the recipe. Let's bring this together. Once that starts coming together, guys, let's just drop in some lovely softened butter. And get back on with the kneading. So after three minutes kneading, clean off the dough hook. We'll pop it out on that board and shape it. A little bit of flour on the board. Nice and dramatic. Oops, I've just thrown that into the fish pond. Take your dough, scraper. Shape it up in some flour. I've got a pre-greased bowl. Beautiful and silky smooth. Pop that in the bowl, chuck it inside. Let's leave it for an hour to double in size. Let's get on with the cheese sauce. Let's make a beautiful beer cheese sauce. And I've got a nice pale ale here, Pitmaster Privilege. Oh, beautiful. Let's get that into this beer cheese sauce, to, into our stove. We're going to pop our butter. We're going to add in our flour. It's going to make the base for our roux. You want to cook that through just to get rid of that floury taste. So give that to a minute just to fry off. And then to our roux base, we're going to add in our milk. Keep stirring so that all starts to come together, guys. And we're going to add our pale ale. And that roux base is starting to thicken now, as you can see. It's a good time to add our cheese, our smoked paprika. Some oyster sour sauce. Whoops. And then we'll let that melt down and then we'll season to taste. See you guys, that's nicely starting to thicken up. So we'll take a good pinch of our kosher diamond crystal salt. We'll stir that through and then set it aside. Let's get our little Kamado barbecue. Ready for smoking them pork cheeks. Get our charcoal. Beautiful big lump of charcoal. Get my tumbleweed fire lighters. Get two down in that bottom. We'll fire that up. Let's get to seasoning up them pork cheeks. 
So I've got my four lovely beef cheeks, nice intramuscular fat in them. I have removed that silver skin on the back. And I've also made me rub. Check in the description down below for all the weights and measures. They'll be down there, guys. But let's get these seasoned up. It's all about building flavours up for this burger. So I'm going to put a nice coat of this rub on each of these pork cheeks to build a nice back for that shredded pulled pork. Flip them. Let's leave these to sweat out while my Kimado comes up to temp. Embers are starting to form now. So a couple of little pieces of apple wood. I'm going to put one straight on top of the uh, coals and one just to the back of the barbecue. And I'll run through my setup on this. It's a La, La Hacienda barbecue. It was an absolute bargain from Morrison's. But heat deflector plates in the bottom grill. I am going to put the grill extender on just to give me that heat. And I've also got a nice little enamel pan as a dripping pan. I've got the bottom vent wide open at the minute. We'll shut it up and we'll open up the daisy, daisy, daisy wheel all the way. We'll start to bring this up to temp. When it gets near to that 110 degrees Celsius, 225 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll start to shut down the daisy wheel and the bottom vent and pop on the pork. It's coming up on that temp, guys. So let's get these little cheeky cheeks over that uh, heat deflector. We're going to let these roll in the smoke for a couple of hours while the pork cheeks are smoking. Let's go down and make a burger sauce. And I've always wanted to make my own mayonnaise, so let's start with a mayonnaise based burger sauce. So we're going to get a container, one egg, fingers crossed this works, guys, the juice of one lemon, and then I've got a couple of tablespoons of mustard. The recipe calls for Dijon mustard. I didn't have any so this is yellow mustard. But apparently it helps thicken and stabilize the mayonnaise. And then I've got one cup of natural sunflower oil. That's pure sunflower oil. And then we're going to take our immersion blender. We're going to set it on the bottom and we're going to whiz We'll leave it sat on the bottom for a little bit and as it starts to thicken we can start to pull it up. Oh my god guys! Homemade! Thick and creamy mayonnaise. A beautiful, thick, creamy mayonnaise. It's turned into a burger sauce now with a dash of sriracha, some pickle juice, a good splash of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of yellow mustard and then to bring all of our flavour profiles together I'm going to season it up with some of that beautiful rub that we've got on the pork cheeks. Let's give it a stir guys. Taste. Oh my god. That is an amazing burger sauce, ready for them epic burgers. Doubled in size, absolutely beautiful, nice and fluffy. Bit of flour just to make it easier on my hands. Get the weighing scales out. We're going to divide the dough into about 100 gram balls.
about 100 gram balls. Then we're going to take the dough, pinch it, cup your hands, roll, make a nice dough ball, pop it on a pre floured tray, and I'll get on with the rest. I'm going to give him a little bit of a milk wash. I'm going to hit them with some untoasted sesame seeds and then go on top of them with some untoasted poppy seeds. So I'm going to take these guys, I've got the oven preheating at 190 degrees Celsius, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop them in there for about 15 minutes. Been just over two hours, guys. Dave has been sniffing this barbecue, even managed to open the bottom vent. But these pork cheeks have formed a beautiful crust. The probing at the minute around 177 degrees Fahrenheit, internal temp. Just look at those. So we're going to finish them off to make that beautiful burger topper of pulled pork. I'm going to pop these just in the centre of my tin foil. Oh my days. Beautiful. I'm going to put some butter just in there. Oops. A little bit of runny honey. It's on the money. It makes everything taste sweet. A beautiful Jackie D's barbecue sauce. I could just buy this, like I said, just for the bottle. I said that last night. We'll get that in here. And that's going to glaze them up, keep them nice and moist. Make a little porky parcel. I'm going to fold up either edge. Fold it up at the top. Onto the top. Nice porky parcel. Pop that back in the uh, barbecue and I'll leave them until they are pull apart tender. After 15 minutes, guys, they're looking super beautiful. And we're just going to finish off putting that shine, that butter glaze on the top. And we'll set them aside while we make our burger patties. Beautiful. Let's get on. With our burger patties. So here I've got two packs of Wagyu mints. So I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to cut them in half again because I'm going to fill each burger patty with some Monterey Jack cheese. So we're going to make a dough ball, a dough ball, a meaty ball and a meaty ball. I'm going to take my little burger press Pre cut out some wax paper already. So we'll put one in the bottom. So now we've got our balls. I'm going to roughly shape them out into the bottom. I'm going to take some of that cheese. These are beautiful Monterey cheese slices. I'm going to make my other dough box. Dough ball. I keep saying dough ball because I've been making dough. My other meatball. Form it on the top. Get my wax paper. And we'll just squidge it into place. And then there we are, guys. Cheese filled Wagyu patties. I'll get on with making the other three. So our ball patties formed and that wax paper just makes it easier for transporting and moving around. But we're going to take our rub from earlier and we're going to season up these beautiful Wagyu cheese filled patties. 
flip them over. Beautiful, nice crust on the outside of these. Make sure you roll the edges and all that seasoning. Don't want the edge please after us. Let's get the barbecue ready for smoking these. These pork chips have been in for about three quarters of an hour now and I've just checked them and they are probing absolutely beautiful and tender I'm going to take them out leave them in the pan to rest and then we'll get to busting them up to top these epic burgers it's an all day cook these pork chips have been sat on the side resting let's try and capture all them juices Let them loose in there. Just look at these beautiful porky nuggets which are just gonna shred. Make some beautiful pulled pork. So I'm gonna bust these up. I actually don't think I need to add any more sauce and this will be my pulled pork topper to my beautiful burgers. I'm going to take our beautiful patties, get them into the barbecue. I have removed the heat deflector stone but I have put in that dripping pan just to catch the juices coming off these burgers. I'm gonna slowly bring these up to temp, around 145 degrees internal temp, and then I'm gonna drop them down for that final sir. Oozy, cheesy, juicy Wagyu burgers. I'm gonna pull them off now and start to pull all the ingredients together. I'm gonna to get me trusty spatula guys, take me Wagyu patties, I'm just going to sit them in this glass dish to rest and then we'll put a sear on them once we've got the barbecue set up. I'm going to take out the grill extender and I'm going to take out that dripping pan full of Wagyu fat and get ready for searing. time has come guys the pan is absolutely scorching hot I've got my cast iron in there to get that sear the burgers are now rested I've got all my condiments lined up on the side to all day buns cheese sauces homemade mayonnaise pulled pork cheeks let's get it all together I'm going to do one for you guys and then I'm going to get on with cooking for the family so let's get my patty I'm going to drop it in there I'm going to get a real hard sear on the outside of that. I've already taken my bun and I've toasted it. So once I've got a sear on this, I'll bring you in guys and put the burger together. So that burger is just starting to sear nicely. So I'm going to take some of our homemade mayonnaise cum burger sauce. I'm going to put that on both buns. I've got some sautéed onions. I did that off camera, but I'm pretty sure you all know how to sauté onions. Let's get that burger patty. Look at that beautiful sear on that patty. We're then going to take an onion ring and that onion ring 
is going to become the vessel for that beer cheese sauce. We're going to get take a good dollop of the beer cheese sauce. Beautiful. I'll just shut my uh, Camado up. And then pork cheeks. They just look absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and get some of that set on the top. This is where the cheese is going to start oozing. Stunning. Won't be a burger without some bacon. And then really I should just put a few leaves on just to put some green in. And get that lid on. And that guys is my epic Wagyu burger. What do you reckon? Let's slice this little beauty open. We all like a cross section. Oh, it's all squeezed out. Look how oozy and juicy that is, guys. And there we have it, guys. JD's pulled pork cheeks, scratch made cheese sauce, scratch made mayonnaise, scratch made buns. Dave coming in for a taste test. Yeah, Dave. What do you reckon? Dave approves. Let's go in for the taste test. Messy. Juicy, sweet. Savory, porky, ah, there's just, just, just a party going on in my mouth, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this cook. If you have, like, subscribe, leave some comments down below. And if not, guys, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully somewhere over here.